What is going on everyone? This is Zodark Leader 635 on Jimmy Master Animatronics. And today I'm gonna to make a review over these two climbing Santa Clauses. So these two, one's from 2015. The other one. Shit. I have a feeling it's 2016. No, no, no it's not. It's 20. Either 17 or 18, but it, it must have been 18, definitely 18, because I don't recall having gotten it in 2016. I mean, I only got two Santas that time. So we're going to go to the year 2017, nothing, nothing in, Ju in July, because this was something I got in Chinatown. 777 beats Bobby and Cowboy, yeah, um, 2018, so I got it the 22nd of of july of 2018 because you know it's a tradition with my dad to go well this this year i don't think we did it no we didn't do it but it is or it was i don't know a tradition to go every july to go to the uh to the Ch to chinatown to get some some things and sometimes most of them they would still have their christmas things out so you would buy you know dirty santas and such and that's where i got this one so this one was a present in 2015. It was uh, December 25th of 2015. And this was a, the, the present that my grandmother gave me. Now, none of them have their original boxes. This one just came in an 8 inches figure box. And this one came like that. It was all dirty. So, I'm going to begin with this one, which is the higher pitch. And if they are bitchy with the batteries, it's none of my business. They have fresh batteries. They have fresh taken out of the package batteries. So, here we go. Now, there's a lot of issues these can have. Uh, personally, this one, when I first got it, the arms were actually dislocated, but it was because the postable wire was just, you know, off the piece. Um, there's there's one that Tyler has that usually gets stuck, and it's because when it goes when it goes up, of course, it goes up, you know, it, it, it starts uh, the, the, the string or the beads or however, I call it the string. Uh, it goes through here and goes out through here, but if it's hitting this, there's just, you know, it's just going to build up here and the, th the whole thing's just going to get stuck. That's just how it is. Um, there's, of course, older ones that have gloves, and st gloves instead of, uh, of uh, hands, and then there's these. But again, there's not really any difference. It's just that, I believe. So then we go with this one, which is fully complete. Um, these have a push button. That's one thing I forgot to say. They don't have a, uh, a switch. They have a push button, just like a few other things, right in the middle of the butt. And they use two AA batteries. That's why I say they are really underpowered. If they would have, you know, stretched it a little bit to three AA batteries, there, I think there should be no issues whatsoever. The speaker's in the neck area, and the head is very, very, very lightweighted. It's, it hardly has any material in it, so... You know, just perfect for it to, to have a light shining through. Um, then, of course, we have this one, which is the one I got in Chinatown. And this one actually came with its original bell, which the other one didn't. Um, this one's a little bit cheer with the batteries, but again, none of my business. That's, that's something that it's just how it is. So, yeah, we go with this one. Of course, the face is different. Different a lot. <laughs> really different. Look at that. I mean, we have this one, which is 
you know, looks fine and everything. And then you have this one. It's weirder. Anyway, here we go with this one. And it usually does that sound from time to time. Now, why does it do that sound? Why does it do that sound? It's because this piece over here, there's a piece inside, which I don't know if you guys will be able to see, it's a white piece of plastic. And that's screwed onto the mechanism, and that actually wears out because, again, you have these beads constantly rubbing against that. So, it has happened to this one before because I think this one was overused in the store. But it hasn't happened to this one yet, at least I hope. But as I said, all you got to do with that is just sand it and make the hole a bit bigger. It's a, it's a temporal solution, I'm assuming. I'm not too sure about it, but, you know, that's how this one is. You see that? And of course, that just happened. As I said, this is pretty much uh, a really common issue, at least with this one. It's just the fact that it's... I don't, I don't know what exactly goes on, but as I said, it just jams up randomly. And uh, I think at some point I may actually take it apart again before, before Christmas and see what's up with that, if I can do something for it or not. Um, the only thing that kind of discourages me from doing that is that it's... Yeah, I gotta glue a lot of things if I do that, because I'll have to undo the body. And the body is glued to the sides and other other things such as the the cloth which again it's that piece of shit yellow not yellow gold cloth that just tears apart easily as easy as you can imagine um other than that that's practically it for the review so i hope you guys enjoyed it and I'm not, oh another thing of course this one just when you push it because the uh the the terminals are actually uh, how's it called? There's there's three terminals, okay? There's one to the left, there's one to the right, which are the, you know, the main off and on. But uh, what I'm going with this is that this one's connected the opposite way as this one. So when you push this one, nothing's going to happen until you release it. And with this one, you just press it. And that's it. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.